Are you suffering from wintertime real envy? Well, I'm going to help you out. This is Captain Dave, and this is my Ryoga 7.4 to 1 gear ratio JDM, Japanese domestic market. A lot of people ask me about these reels. We're going to do a little bit of how to help that real envy out this winter. Well, I'm sitting here and I was thinking about y'all, okay? And I'm sitting here, I was just cleaning up a few of my Daiwa Ryogas. I had one that had sort of the handle loosening up or something, so I had to address that. Because this time of year, I probably use these the most of any time during the entire 12 months. Well, all of my personal tackle ha is the Ryogas, and I usually, you know, do a, when I do a lot of bottom fishing, I use these Ugly Stick Tiger Light Jigging Rods, and of course, the Ugly Stick Stripers. I mean, I'm using these reels in videos, and just people out there on YouTube are asking me, what's that reel? What's that reel? What's that reel next to you? I'm a real fan <clears throat> because I've run the gamut on reels. I've run through every reel that there is. Every low profile, every Shimano Corrado, Daiwa Alexa, Shimano Tranix. I've used uh, Finor, uh, different, well, I can't remember what they were, but they were like a jigging, level wine, star drag, big power handle. Finor, I had those. I had what they call release, then they turned to truth, then they turned to Siegler. I'm waiting for them to change their name one more time. They were so weak, but when it really boils down to just that you boil everything off, I really like reels with a level wind. I would love that Siegler star drag smaller silver and or black which has the mag on it i would like those to have a level wind oh my gosh i've had 12 accurates twin drag lever lever drag twin drag accurates at one time i had accurates called the b197s now there's something else that were smaller than this. A lever drag reel. It felt smaller because it was more rounder. And what did I really settle on? The Daiwa Ryugas. The larger Daiwa Ryugas. I just love them. They're just... I mean, I get people on my boat that are casting a spinning reel. And you'd think a spinning reel with a half ounce jig head on it and a shrimp could or would cast further than me with one of my Ryogas. Well, they don't. Now, granted, you take somebody who's got some monster preci precision spinning reel. Yeah, they're going to cast far, matched with the perfect rod. So I can keep up with them. That's the wonderful thing about the Ryoga. In my saltwater world, I like a round reel because a lot of the low profile reels are... And at one point, I literally thought that a low profile reel was going to be easier to maintain in saltwater fishing. In real saltwater. I'm not talking about, you know... Uh, you know, back in some marsh in, like, say, Louisiana, where half the water's fresh. I'm talking real salt, oceany water in which I fish. And I was so surprised that with my meticulous care that I used to do, and still do, still do, with all of my reels, how I would have problems with the, the thumb bar, uh, hanging up and getting all salty, the paint would start 
bubbling on them? I mean, I was devastated. I got rid of my Dio Alexa 300s. I had six of them, I believe. Because one day I got sat down here at my bench in the Wolf Den, and I was going to start breaking them down to parade rest, and usually like this time of year, when the wind's blowing, I was actually going to go fishing today. It's a beautiful day, but it's honking out there. Instead, I'd sit down on a day like today, and I'd start breaking these things down to parade rest, and I'd start seeing the paint bubbling on them. There's no paint on a solid, machined, aluminum, anodized reel. Trial and error and lots of expense that a round reel was actually easier to maintain in saltwater fishing. Real saltwater, not brackish, not three quarters fresh. I'm talking salt. I'm talking run your hand down the side of your boat, look at it, covered in salt type fishing. As I said in the beginning, so you may have Daiwa Ryoga JDM type reel envy. That's a good thing. I'm going to show you in the second half of this video how and what to look for when you purchase one of these. Every single one of my, like, 12 of them came off of eBay. And if you're not familiar with eBay, a lot of people still aren't, and a lot of you are. That's where I got them all. And I'm going to show you some of the things that maybe you need to do and how to do it. This may be very interesting to some of you, may be absolutely no interest to others. I don't, the only rich people I know that are in the charter business are retirees, ex-bankers, real estate agent, lawyers, and dot-com dudes. Full, they got businesses on the side. But, you know, most people, most guys, maybe gals even, that are 100% in the fishing business, they're not out to get rich. But we find ways of doing things. And I'm going to show you kind of what I've always done. So stick with me. And on the second half of this, we're going to go to the big screen on the computer. Alrighty, folks. Well, we're going to start out here at Google. I don't have one of those screenshot type programs. I may, but I don't know how to use it. Or I don't even know where it's at. So what I did is I went to Google, and I'm going to be doing all this by looking at the the screen with the camera. All right, so please bear with me. I went to Google and I typed in PayPal credit. Now this used to be called something else. Can't remember. And if you look here, it's PayPal, apply for PayPal credit, a simple flex flexible credit line. Well, just so you know, this is how I purchase everything on eBay that's over $100, let's say. But this is PayPal credit. And the reason I use this for everything over $100 is for the fact if something goes wrong, the money does not come out of my account in any way. My checking account, my PayPal account, or anything. Oh, here it is. I just found it. There it is. PayPal credit, formerly named Bill Me Later. All right, but that doesn't matter. So it used to be called Bill Me Later because what you could do is you could purchase something, let's say, off of eBay that was maybe a little bit expensive and you're getting it from far away and you're not going to pay for that right up front. You're not, you don't have to do anything. You receive it, and then after you receive it and you're happy, then you pay for it. Number one, you bet you need to have PayPal. Or don't even bother going on eBay. Yes, they take just regular credit card payments, but it's still through PayPal. Okay, but having PayPal definitely kind of will work to your advantage because it makes everything easy. So you need to have a PayPal credit account.
PayPal credit is an open-end revolving credit card account that that provides a reusable credit line built into your PayPal account, giving you the flexibility to pay for purchases right away or pay over time. Well, that pay over time is your insurance policy that you're going to get the product. I'm trying to hold the camera here as steady as I can, folks. It's easy to apply, easy to use whenever you need it. PayPal credit is subject to credit approval, blah, blah, blah. And is there an annual fee to use PayPal credit? No. But here's what it basically boils down to. You apply for this and you get no interest if paid in six months on purchases of $99 or more when you check out and you use the PayPal credit. This isn't as gimmicky as it sounds. I have been using this forever because this is your insurance policy. Okay, here it is. How does the no interest if paid in six months purchases of $99 or more offer work? Well, you get six months to pay for a qualifying over $99 purchase as long as you pay in full by the promotional expiration date. We should all be in, we should all know this. I'm showing you this because this is your insurance. So, let's shoot over and let's go to eBay. So, here's eBay. Let's just type in Daiwa. Oh, I already have it in here. Well, we don't have to there's Daiwa Ryoga 2025. Okay, but let's just look at just Daiwa Ryoga. We don't need to put in, we want to look at all of them, not just a certain size. Now, here's all the Daiwa Ryogas. And the first time somebody looks at this, they probably need a Depends undergarment. Because what do they see? This is the brand spanking new. They just brought this out, and they're bring. This is what they were bringing to the United States. Now, is these brand new black Daiwa Ryogas. It started out as a JDM reel, Japanese domestic market. They did bring it to the United States back when they were silver, silver color, and it was called the Pluton. It was different from the ones that are made for the Japanese market. So look at this. Look at this. I mean, $770? Are you kidding? Well, that's from Republic of Croatia. That's not what you're interested in. Unless you want to buy one of these, this is the latest and greatest known to man. Okay? When it comes to... Then they made this one called the Daiwa Shrapnel. I had one. The length of the level line going back and forth was just too long for me. It was a big time casting gigantic plugs kind of reel. And I'll tell you, I never paid that. When I bought one, I bought one that was like brand new from some dude who didn't even know what he had and I paid $300 for it, free shipping. So what you do is you make this damn near your homepage and you want to constantly scan this, okay? This one, you'll notice, has these bumps around here. The silver one, that means it's an older. This is an older model. This here is the brand spanking new 2018 model. That's not what you're going to be interested in. If you're wanting to do this on a budget, do it this way. These have the Z-Mag system in which it's all magnetic in there, cast control. You turn this dial. It's awesome. I've got a bunch of these too. This is for on my striper rods when I'm like jigging, you know, little, little, you know, quarter ounce, three eighths ounce jigs. I use reels just like this. Now, if you're a lefty, here is a Daiwa 1012. That's the smallest one. And that's, the, I know I'm going to be corrected. Uh, this is talking about the diameter or something of 
the Japanese PE rating on their braid. See, this one has an L right here. So that means it's a left hand. Don't buy one that's a lefty if you're not a lefty guy. Now here's one that's in Malaysia. Malaysia's not bad. I mean, that's kind of the Singapore people, you know? This one is brand new. It looks like a leftover. It's $4.79. But let me tell you, you can do much better than that. Here's one in Japan, $334.93 with three, you got to remember, it's free shipping. All right. That is the blue and silver model. That's a newer model. It's the size 2025. That's a jigging one. It's got the big power handle on it with the EVA foam knob. And they'll, the, the Japanese will be using words like this. Begging? Uh, that, no, that's supposed to mean jigging. This is a micro vertical jigging reel. Works for me. Monster, monster bottom fishing reel for Dave. But let's take this one for instance, because this one versus this silver one up here that I showed you. This one is a real casting one. Okay, you notice it's all silver. That doesn't have the mag force drag system, or no, the, the mag sealed um, mag sealed bearings. You know those Daiwa oil filled magnetic bearings. This one will. This is this is this is pretty new, and this is a really nice one. Okay, but it's got an L right there, and you can tell it's a lefty. But let's just use this as an example, real quick here. So let's bring up the page. It is used. And you want to realize what it's like in Japan. It is a one-upmanship society over there. This reel may not have a scratch on it. Okay, go to the big picture here. Look at this thing. There is not a bump on it. I've had customers of mine that have lived in Japan... And they say it is such an upmanship, one upmanship society that the Japanese will buy stuff. They don't even use it because it is top O the line. Okay, now you can see here it says mag sealed. And this is the only kind of people you want to buy a reel from. So that means right in here, the bearings in, in here are those magnetic oil bearings. This is a 2025 L. So that would be a lefty. But look at that thing. 334.93. Free shipping. This is what you want to do. Next, you're going to go to the details of the shipping. And you're going to see what they're doing here. Free shipping... That's going to be that standard, I can't remember what they call it over in Japan. That's going to be your pretty much your slowest. See now the dates, it's getting into January. That's probably when you're going to get your reel, in January. It'll come with a Japanese uh, postal uh, tracking number that when it hits the United States and either Jamaica Bay, Long Island, New York... That's where you'll be you'll be tracking it from there to your doorstep. Or you pay $13 more and you'll get the expedited shipping estimated December 20th to the 26th. Okay. That's one thing that you want to look at, and you get those rates by putting in your your uh, zip code. So let's go back and take a look at something else. This is another thing. See this right here? $31 for 12 months. You can do that. Or when you do the PayPal credit, you can run your own show. When you receive the reel, 
and you're satisfied with it, then you can go and pay 50 bucks a week until it's paid off within six months and you get no interest charges or anything. So then after this, the next thing you will do is you will look at this number right here. That is, they get a, they got a 98.4 percentage positive feedback. All right, so you're gonna click on their name, Amazing Samurai. Uh, many of them are running basically consignment shops. See, they got six negative in the past 12 months. You can actually go over here and see what these people are complaining about. But this is what you're wanting to look at. This is their page. This is the Amazing Samurai right here. In 12 months, he's had 273 total sales. Out of that 273, six people, eh, that's not too bad, had a negative feedback against him. In the last month, he's had one. In the last month, he's sold 42 stuff. So do your due diligence here. But I can even tell you, I had my score ruined by some guy, and this is the example of what I want to tell you about. I had mine, my own feedback score ruined by a guy who bought a reel off of me, and he thought he was buying two reels. And it, he gave me bad feedback, and there's nothing I could like hardly do about it, okay? So, I'll show it to you. We're going to go to my page. Here it is, the Jetty Wolf, right? And here I am. I got 70 positive, zero neutral, and one negative ass wipe, all right? So let's see what that negative ass wipe was talking about. And I'm going to use those words. Buyer beware, seller is a crook. Change listings after purchase. No, I didn't, James. See, I, can, I replied back, thought he was buying two reels when only one at a time was for sale. Needs to read. Well, it's just like people on YouTube channels. <laughs> I mean, they don't watch the video, but they start spouting off in the comments section. And he bought one of my old Shimano JDM Titanos GT3000 reel Augimatics. And it was a... $39.99 reel and the guy was getting all pissy on me. I mean, here, I even went back and said, thanks for your purchase, buddy. You know? But he didn't actually get the reel. So, you need to look at this stuff. This is very important information. Do your look. So, I mean, I got a great rating and then I get one person that ruins it. Because when you when you have multiple items for sale, uh, they'll usually have right here number of items in this listing, and he bought one, but he saw that it said two. That was two that was available. Okay, so let's get back to our search results here, and let's go on down again. See now, here's a red one. This is, they give them different names, okay? It's, this is a 1016 SVASH, and you need to look up all this stuff. You're gonna pay for shipping. Two-day shipping to US, FedEx, and you wanna make sure they stick to that in every single way. That's coming high-speed aircraft, folks. So the big deal on this is looking at the details. So let's go down and let's look at some more, some more uh, Daiwas. Okay, here's one, $299. I never pay more than $300 for mine. Never, I'm not going to. There's somebody who put a product rating. They're trying to be like Amazon. And it happens to be a Russian. Can't read that. Uh-oh. Okay, so let's go back. So, let's take a look at this one. That is an excellent quality Daiwa Ryoga 2020 bait cast and reel from Japan. 
all right? 319 or best offer. When I see that, I'm on it like stink on the manure pile. And then here's one for 220. Pre-owned, both pre-owned. This one says excellent, this one says excellent. They're both right hand. This is a 2020 H. I believe that's a slower speed. And this is a 2020. Let's take a look at the $319 one and I'll tell you what I would do. Don't fall in love with not a single one of these items. This guy, I can't, Shimizuya Japan. I believe I've bought off of this, this store before. So, excellent used. So what they do is they take pictures with white backgrounds. That simply fades out a lot of possible scratches and stuff. And they hit it with such bright lights. These guys got studio boxes. If you don't know what a studio box is, that's basically these uh, boxes. They got white sides around them. They got giant lights on top sides. And they get in there with one of those really nice cameras, digital cameras, that they're already selling because these are like these are like pawn shops. These are basically consignment shops. And they take pictures. So there you go. At least he's... He, you have the opportunity when you do a listing to expand, to make these expanded pictures. So it's looking pretty good right there. It's just a double paddle. It's not a jigging version. This would just be a casting version. Let's look at this one up close here. Oh, yeah. See, I don't even see a scratch. I don't even see any wear... They won't even let you do this. I don't even see any wear on the level wine bar right there. I've got wear on some of mine because I've used them so much. So you go down and you look at the spool. You look all around. One place you want to look is always... Let's see if we can do this. Here's a big picture. You want to look underneath the thumb bar here. A lot of these Japanese people are not fishing salt water. These things are coming out of a freshwater pond. They have like pay ponds over there. I see a little mark right there. But I mean, I've bought ones that are all scratches because they got serious boat rash and stuff. All right. Look at this. He's trying to show you what excellent condition it is in. All right. They're trying to show you there. Let's look at another picture. There it is. There's the bottom. I've got reels right now that look worse than this. All right. So if I was to do this, they're going to send this $20 standard shipping from Japan. It's coming out of this right here, this, this town in Japan. So let's see the details. All right. Estimated, that's that's eBay doing this estimation, December 27th through January 4th. Give it 10, 12 days, depending on how fast they ship it. All right. So, if they do a make offer, first thing I do is I would go, okay, I'll make you an offer. I'm taking off that shipping. That's the reason why he's got 319. I'll take off that shipping and I'll say make offer $289.99. $289.99. He may come back or she may come back and say, how about $300? And I'll go, bam, sold. So you got yourself one hell of a reel. And I mean, you'll if you're anything like me, you'll get these and you'll break them down. You'll take the side plate off. You'll take the side plate off over here. You'll take the side plate off over here. Okay. You'll take this off. You'll look at the level line and you'll go, damn, this thing wasn't even used. These people that have these are not like you and me. Okay. If they are, you'll notice the reels. They're beat to a pulp. Okay. This guy is a longtime member. He's got a 
great. So let's click on his name. Look at this. These are some proud folks here. I, I guess that's him and his wife and his kid. Him and his wife. Thank you for visiting my store. We are trying better service like Japanese Amo Tenashi as soon as possible. I don't know what that means, but he's got one negative. See, this one negative is gonna is probably gonna try to drop him down. So we're gonna look at his one negative, right? And we can't hardly understand a word that guy's saying because it's in Spanish or something. Excellent Daiwa Steez bait casting reel from Japan. And a guy gives him a negative, but we can't read it, and I'm sure he can't either. <laughs> but if you really want to know, copy this entire thing. Copy it. Go over here, copy, and drop that in to Google. And the translator should pop up. So, in the last month, He's had either no sales or anything. In the last six months, he's had four that actually came back and gave him in 24 months. So, this guy looks pretty good. This guy looks pretty good. So, your insurance policy is the fact that you're not going to pay for this right away by any means. Here's some of the other reels that he's selling. Some of the other reels that he's selling. Got a Calcutta here, Conquest, jigging reel, some low profiles, jigging reels. All right, let's go back. Let's go back again. That was a 319 reel. Let's go back again, and let's look at the $220 right-hand reel. Pre-owned. Some tiny scuffs and scars. It looks clean overall. There is a scratch on the cap of one handle. And it says, read more. Good working condition here. Some scuffs and scars. There is a scratch on the cap. Please refer to the photos for details. Then you can see that's a 6.2 to 1 gear ratio. I always go straight for the highest high speed reels. I love them. Max drag, I believe 5.5 kilograms works out to be about, it's got 12 bearings plus the one roller. That's what makes this a casting machine. And then what, how they rate things. This is what this store does. If it was a 1010, it would be basically brand new. So he's saying it's excellent. So it's an eight out of 10, 84 to 75% used, some signs of wear tested worked properly. Oh, there it is. We send worldwide by EMS, Express Mail Service from Japan. Expected delivery day, depending on where you are, 3 to 14 days to mostly around the world. All right. EMS. This one could be something that would be a little interesting. All right. So what do you do? You go in here and you start looking at the pictures, right? You go over here and you start looking at these pictures. He's giving you the whole shoot match here. You're not only getting the schematic, the paperwork, the box. You're getting the bag, the whole nine yards. All right. So there's the reel. It says one little scratch on a knob. Really? Who gives a hoot? That's what I say. When I'm saving hundreds and hundreds of dollars... Okay, so we want to look at a couple more of these pictures. All right. Yeah, this one you can tell is a little bit more used. All right, I see a little, um, little maybe dirt right in there. All right. Let's look at another picture. This is what you want to do. You want to go through these pictures with a fine-tooth comb. Yeah, you can tell this one's used a little bit. Look at the... I don't know if you can see it, but right here it's kind of dirty all in the handle. There's a there's the scratch he was talking about, I'm sure. There's a big gouge in the end of plastic here. Yep, there's the picture of the uh, there's the handle. See that big scuff right there? The handle's kind of dirty. But compared to $320 or $300 or 220 but see he's kind of getting you here a little bit 
$27 for shipping. Okay, so this is all stuff that you want to pay attention to. No negative, but 225 So this guy, he's kind of a member since 2014. This is another thing you want to look at. You want to see that these people have been around a while, folks. Look at how many views. 11,000 views of his stores. You could maybe let this sit. Let's see how long this has possibly been up here. If we can figure this out. Okay, it's got 9 days and 22 hours. So that would be 9 days and 22 hours left out of a 30-day sell. Usually these, when you put something up, it's for 30 days. You can wait till the last day of this. You go in here and hit the add to your watch list, like I just did. All right. And you can wait until this is one day left. And you can go in here and you can hit contact seller. I've done this numerous times. I've done it numerous times. Go in here and contact seller. And it's the last day. And say, hey, how about you throw in the free shipping and I'll give you the I'll give you two twenty-five. But have enough time because when it's daytime here, it's midnight there. It's there's people over in Japan are sleeping when we're up. Okay? Same thing with China, I believe. So go down here, make sure you look at all the photographs. Really pay attention to what you're doing. Don't be in a hurry. These things come around like no tomorrow, okay? But you don't have to go buy one of these, one of these, uh, you know, unless you feel like buying one of these $700 brand new ones. That's ridiculous. Or even a $500 one. I, my, I don't have any of these with the mag seal. I think I got one. It's it's not even a, it's not even referred to as Ryoga. It's referred to as a Saltiga. Remember, if you get one and it says Bay Jigging, and it has a big power handle, there will not be ninety nine percent of the time. It seems like there is not going to be any magnetic cast control. Bay Jigging, but see this one has a double handle. If you're not a great great caster. You don't necessarily want one that doesn't have the Daiwa mag system. Here's a guy who's selling one with a with a aftermarket handle. I actually like this big rubber handle myself. I don't know if I've got any with that. A 2020 H279. So if you've got Envy, there's plenty of them out there for you to look through. Before I take up any more of your time on this subject, I just get asked a lot about these reels, and I just want to show you, here they are. You can buy new ceramic bearings for them. You can buy handles. Hunt up the, the Daiwa Ryoga for you. The bay jiggings aren't the super duper made for just casting. They're made for more vertical fishing. And when you get down into your, you get into the more casting versions, if you're wanting, see how this one has, let's look at this one. This is the brand new, this is a lefty though, they're calling it. Okay, let's see. See those, that dial on the side right here? This dial right here. That's the Z-Mag system. It's awesome. It is awesome. And I'm not really sure if these have that deep a spool. I'm not really sure if these even new ones got deep, real deep spools. All right. But you got to figure out, do you want a jigging bottom type or do you want the type that has the Z-Mag system in it for maybe you... Or kind of a you know a beginner big time bait caster. I don't know, but that's it. I just wanted to go through this. This is running as long as it 
could probably go. If you have any questions, put them below and I'll try to answer them for you. And I uh, really appreciate you watching. If not, if you're not a regular, go ahead and subscribe and hit that bell for me. Hit that notification bell. And uh, I'll put some uh, links in the video description where it says show more on a computer. Get yourself signed up for PayPal credit and learn how to buy these with no money out of your pocket right in the beginning. Because that is your safeguard. And that's how I've acquired a dozen of these over the years. All right. I appreciate it. Thanks a lot. And I'll see you on the next one. From the Wolf Den, it's Captain Dave, signing out.